Hello everyone, welcome to Capture One Discussions, where we're talking about news and interesting things having to do with Capture One. And I think a very important email came out from Capture One today that I just wanted to briefly discuss. And it's this one right here that just came out called New Tools Launching Soon. And it seems like this is exactly what we have been asking for. So I just wanted to take a second and discuss this so that we can all get excited about it. But it says coming soon, AI masking. Let me actually highlight this for you here. AI masking letting you save time and create precise, complex masks in seconds. Exactly the one feature we have been asking for. Um, a lot of us have kind of heard rumors for a while that this was the next big development. And I think this photograph here actually uh, is telling us quite a bit. If I open up the photograph, I wanna actually explore this with you. Uh, Cause if I come in to this, we can actually see that a particular handbag seems to have been masked quite well. And we see here that even though it's a little bit pixelated from the size of the JPEG in the email, it pretty clearly says subject mask one. And now the masking and layering tool seems to have changed so that Luma range and refine mask are two buttons at the bottom. So we have some feature coming out that is going to define the subject and then create a mask around it. Exactly the feature we have been looking for. Now, hopefully we also will see things like selecting the sky, selecting the background, which would be, of course, the non-subject portion of the frame. And I'm really hoping for an intersecting mask feature, uh, similar to what exists in Lightroom, where a mask is created only where two different ways of making a mask overlap. It's something that's really powerful inside of Lightroom, and we don't have anything like it inside of Capture One. Um, but we do seem to have subject and background up here at the top. We also seem to have a third masking brush, which seems to be finding subjects or objects in some way. I think that that's going to be really fun to play with. I'm looking forward to seeing what kinds of features come along with it. What else are you hoping for with AI tools inside of Capture One? Anyway, hopefully you're as excited as I am. We are, as of recording right now, in late September, and September to October is really when feature season kind of happens in the photo editing world. And so I expect that we're gonna see this roll out pretty quickly. Anyway, that's my take on the email that came out today. I hope you're excited for it and I'll see you next time. Peace.